Building a Better World for Us All. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 445. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our October 3rd, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building a better world for us all, because that is what One Community is all about. And everything that you see happening in the background of this video is related to that. <clears throat> we are taking sustainable, we are creating open source, sustainable tools, tutorials, and resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainable living as a pathway to building a better world for us all. And our idea is that, if, is that if we can make comprehensive, really radical sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And our expression of that, that easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, is the first of many teacher demonstration hubs to be built. Our goal is to build the prototype and open source and free share it so that other people can replicate it, modify it, adapt it, evolve it around the world, and work in cooperation and collaboration with those groups and organizations to build a better world for us all, to create something for everybody. You know, and so we've taken the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we've combined them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we call and like to label highest good approaches to fulfilled living practices, uh, true earth stewardship, highest good education, and highest good economics. And we're putting all that together to create an evolution of sustainability that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living now. And so by open sourcing and free sharing and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that it will spread on its own, we're building a better world for us all by spreading sustainability, sustainable practices and implementations that will benefit everybody. And first and foremost, those who implement them. You know, creating a better world for the people that want to live this way, creating a clear path that, that identifies without any question the amount of time, money, labor that's going to be involved, and then what the end result is going to look like, and creating a place where people can come and visit and experience that end result, and then at see that everything that they're looking at and experiencing is open source and free shared so that they can replicate it in whatever way that they want to, and build upon that to create an even larger global suite of open source, free shared tools, tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for what we call highest good living. And so this is building a better world for us all is by spreading sustainability, spreading sustainable practices, spreading sustainable housing, food, energy, education models, all of these things and making them more mainstream and reaching that tipping point of participation so that we can positively and permanently change this planet for the better, impacting the lives of every single person here. And as, as grand as that sounds, building a better world for us all, it's not just a throwaway phrase for us. We really are looking to build a better world for us all, for everyone, to positively touch the lives of every single human being and ultimately every creature on this planet by creating a sustainable civilization for the first time in the history of humanity. You know, and we have the technology now. We have the ability to do this. The time is right. And there's never been more reasons to do this than there are right now. Regenerating our planet and creating a world, a sustainable planet, will benefit us and generations to come. And as we are living right now, the current definition of the way that we're living right now is not sustainable. It's not, we would define the way that we're living right now as not sustainable, which means we cannot continue to do what we are doing right now because it is not sustainable. You know, and so the solutions exist, the ability to collaborate globally. And we have team members on every continent except for Antarctica that are and have contributed to this project. Over 600 volunteers have contributed to create everything that you see in the background of this video because there are a lot of people that believe that it's possible to build a better world for us all and want to be a part of that. And we want to create that. We want to live this way and we want to share that experience with anybody that's interested. And so 
this is what our project is doing. We're an all volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization, 100% um, unpaid staff, including myself, you know, creating this because we want to live this way, because we want to share this, because we want to will this to our children, our grandchildren, and their grandchildren. We want this to be something that lasts for generations and transforms our society into a sustainable one, shifting the values to values of helping and cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. And one community is meant to demonstrate what's possible with a model like that. And what is possible is more free time and things to do with that free time, bringing together people with common values and shared goals to create a world that's better for their friends, their family, themselves, of course, regionally, locally, globally nationally all of these like expanding out and spreading this idea regenerating ecosystems creating collaborative organizations and a global cooperative building a better world for us all we all benefit from this and so we think that just a clear path that's easy enough affordable enough and attractive enough to replicate on its own is the process of that and the more fun and excitement and joy that we have and demonstrate in creating this and the lifestyle the more amazing the lifestyle is that we can create and the lifestyle encompasses all of those foundations the housing the more artistic we can make the housing the more sustainable we can make the energy so that we have no power bills you know the more the healthier the food we can grow locally produced and without herbicides pesticides or fungicides sprayed on it without poison sprayed on our food locally grown fresh more diverse food than what you can buy in the grocery store because we can grow things that really have to be eaten the day that you pick them they don't have a shelf life so we can grow those things and enjoy those things you know we can work together to produce five star quality meals that the entire community can enjoy eating that are better than what we would get even if we went to a restaurant because the food is better and it's made with love for the people that produce the food, for the people that live there, like mom making dinner for their family. You know, but in this case, we work together and produce that so that we as a community can provide something better than what most people are experiencing right now. And so this is what One Community is all about, building a better world for us all. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Working in collaboration for things like food so that I can step into the kitchen and learn something that I have never, never produced before or share something, share my gift, a meal that I love to make and share that with the entire community is one microcosm of of what it is that we're trying to do. It's one small, tiny example of what's possible through cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. You know, two or three or four people can easily produce enough meals for 50 people, whereas right now, the sheer inefficiency of people, everybody doing every little thing for themselves, you know, mowing their lawn just for themselves, doing their laundry just for themselves, you know, transportation, going to the grocery store, producing food. There are so many examples of this. And then there's all the social and recreational aspects of like, hey, what if we wanted to play a pickup soccer game or basketball game? Or what if we wanted to, you know, do a movie night? Or what if we wanted to do a nature walk? Or what if we wanted to do a get the kids together? And all of that is within walking distance. Imagine how much better and how much fun that would be to create that and to be able to cooperate and create create that with people of shared values to come up with your own ideas for what the most amazing living environment would look like and integrating all of that. And so we've created a model for all that. And this is our idea of building a better world for us all is sharing that and demonstrating that and then sharing it as we demonstrate it so that other people can take it, modify it, adapt it, improve upon it and create their own versions of that creating more and more options for people to participate around the world and ultimately reaching that tipping point of building a better world for us all that touches the lives of every single person on this planet. This is what we're up to. Thanks for watching to the end. Stick around for a couple more minutes. If you'd like to see bullet points on each of the major components of our project, visit our website if you'd like to see all the open source tools and resources that we're creating. Visit our written blog if you'd like to see uh, exactly what each member of our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week. The written blog with the exact same title as this video. And um, yeah, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. If you like this sort of thing, Remember to click and subscribe and uh, follow our progress, either here or social media or any way you like. We're pretty much everywhere that you might be interested in. So with that, thanks again. Till next week, we'll keep on keeping on. Have a great day. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, 
do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.